Hello everyone. So in this particular video, uh, we are going to deploy our Django website on DigitalOcean. Yeah, it, it's a very hectic task and sometimes uh, you never know uh, the new kind of problems occurs. So we will try to deploy the uh, website on digital ocean so for this i have already created the droplet as you can see here it's a very easy process you just have to choose the size of the droplet either of uh, the ram of 1 gb 30 gb ssd disk and whatever then select the region san francisco bangalore toronto whatever you like and then uh, nearby you and then that's it you don't need to work on sss keys uh, right here then just uh, it will uh, create a droplet for you and uh, assign IP before address as you can see here then it will send a mail to you uh, and in that mail there will be a password okay copy and paste the password in the command prompt okay so first it's time to connect if you are on Windows uh, you have to use putty but if you are on Linux or Mac um, you can just go directly to the terminal and just write ssh root at the rate whatever your ip address is all right so now here you have to type the password so and the password will not become visible all right and here you go so again i'm writing uh, ssh root and the ip address now it will ask me the password and here you go and now so it's connected and uh, when you log in for the very first time in the droplet it will ask you to change the password so firstly you have to write the uh, current password again uh, make sure that you are not having extra space there now type your new password it will not become visible okay then retype the password and yes here you go now note it down somewhere because you will be using it again and again the droplet password all right now uh, the next thing that we will do is update the uh, packages okay so for that sudo apt get update and now it's done now next thing will be to update once again so upgrade and it's working again then it will ask for some language utf8 encoding and all and you have to choose utf8 okay and here you can see from the list of all of the things and go with UTF-8 and yes now uh, next thing we will do is uh, installing the NGINX NGINX is basically to serve static assets like CSS, JS, images and also to run the Django application behind a proxy server so it's time to install NGINX as it is done okay processing Uh, the one one of the most important thing uh, when you are deploying the Django website is the setting.py file. In the setting.py file, we will be using MySQL uh, database. You can use either Postgres. So, uh, in the MySQL, uh, we have to configure the setting.py file also there uh, because if you are using uh, SQLite in your development uh, environment, then for the production, we will not use SQLite. So, we have to change the setting.py a little bit. Okay, then adding some static file settings there also. And if you are using uh, AWS S3, if you want to use it, and I will be using this is, and uh, digital ocean spaces. Okay, so we will cover them video by video. So first of all, and uh, go with uh, and this is a React website, so you will also learn how to deploy the React thing. Okay, so first uh, let's let's go for uh, nginx or so sudo app get uh, install. And next we will uh, install supervisor supervisor will start the application server and manage it in the case of server crash and restarts okay so here you go sudo app get install supervisor after that it is the right time 
to install uh, MySQL server there might be some issue with the UTF-8 encoding and we will solve it soon so let's uh, check if the supervisor is working so I have to enable it sudo system enable yeah so it is giving a warning of uh, a fallback okay we will solve it soon the next command will be to start the supervisor if it happens otherwise we will move to uh, mysql now so it's time for the mysql installing okay so to install the mysql this is very simple command again sudo apt-get and install mysql server here you go so uh, uh, we will also install mysql client because it will be needing it uh, to integrate with the django thing okay and sometimes it may need a uh, config file to be installed uh, separately okay if this is not in your uh, droplet it it occurs many times okay so we will look at it also so this uh, after that we will install the mysql so sudo mysql secure installation here you go now um, uh, it will ask whether you uh, want uh, to use validate password plugin. I am not using it here because it's for tutorial purpose only. So press any other key. Now make the password whatever you want. And here I go. Then again enter the same password here. All right. Uh, do you want to remove the anonymous measure? Yeah. Yeah. Again, you want to remove the test database and you want to reload the privilege table. So that's it, all done. Now you can log into your um, MySQL database, okay? Just you by using MySQL and you root P because we are using password here. So MySQL U root and for P for the password here. So now you have to enter the same password that you have made sometimes. Um, now yeah it is uh, in uh, console of mysql as you can see here now we will be creating a database that we will be using here and you have to name that database you have to assign the user for that database and you have to give the privileges of that database to that user all the privileges then we, we will flush the privilege so it is a four step process and we will do it now uh, so, and uh, we will use that um, basically that uh, particular thing the particular database in our uh, django settings.py file okay so the command will be create database and the name of the database uh, so i'm here writing the name of the database as srs then character set utf8 it's not needed but i'm just writing it here All right, it's done. Now it's time to create a user. So create user and the name of the user. So here I'm again uh, using the name SRS at the rate localhost and then identified by the password. Okay, so identified by whatever the password uh, uh, you want to give. So give it in uh, double encoding. Okay, so I'm writing here the password as my SQL at the rate one, two, three, four, five okay so just a simple password here and yeah it's done so as you can see here the name of the database is sras and the password for the user is mysql at the rate one two three four five and the password is for the user named sras at the rate localhost okay so we will be uh, using those things the, these all things in our uh, database so now we have to grant all the privilege of our database for the user so grant all privileges
on uh, on the name of the database was SRS dot star to the name of the user that is SRS again at the rate localhost all right so here you go oh it's done now it's time to flush the privileges it's done now you can exit the uh, database so most of the work has been done and yeah bye bye to my square now the next thing that we will do is uh, update our setting.py file with the mysql configuration so for that uh, we have to make some changes in our setting.py file so that it will be using mysql setting so open up uh, your setting.py and go with the flow okay so i'm using bitbucket and my all the code is in bitbucket file so i'm navigating there hey um, my file is and here is the database setting so i will be changing this setting in according with the mysql all right so jump to directly to that part and here you go mm. and here i have to change this all thing according to the need of mysql syntactically so um, you know one of the most important thing to note down here is uh, if uh, you are using back uh, you have to use two different things here one thing is uh, either you can use mysql client or you can use uh, a mysql lib file so they are uh, the same we will be using mysql client okay so now it's time to update the things so by default we will be using engine django.db backend slash mysql so django.db to backend and just here i have to write mysql and name of the database will be not this but it will become the name that we have given there so in double quotes you have to write sres because it was name of the database then by comma we have to pass the user and the user name will be that you have given there that is srs once again and then we will pass the password so password uh, will be uh, what are the password that we have write, uh, written there that is my sql at the rate one two three four five here you go then we have to pass the host and the host will be localhost and in the last thing uh, the port so you can left it blank or you can pass the port of mysql uh, which is 3306 all right so it's very confusing here okay so um, this is uh, the setting that we have file updated now uh, you have to pass allowed host here so that it will configure your domain also so i'm just passing a star for that moment here and yeah save this file because i, I will be uh, changing it um, i will be cloning this git so setting.py file should be updated as per my need this is important okay so next thing that we will do is uh, installing the python virtual environment so these are the two changes that we made now it's time to install the virtual environment okay so and here you go so in the virtual environment we will do sudo apt okay sudo apt get y install python and one more thing to note here that i'm not using a one click uh, django i'm making everything here so because one click django there have 1.111 dependency and we will be using 2.1 so it might break something uh, when you are using there so that's why i'm doing it here with uh, 2.1 all right the next thing that we have to do is create a, a 
new application user all right so as we used to do in our uh, ubuntu go for that so let's add a new user and let's the name the will be uh, let's say urban the name of the user is urban and now it's time to create the password for him so enter any password and press enter retype the password and now it will ask some names so i am doing just for and you can also left blank on the other things and yeah the information is correct and that's great now it's time to switch uh, on that user and yeah but but first add the user to the list of sudo users so that for that we have to write g pass and then urban the name of the user and sudo all right that's adding user uh, urban to the group sudo and now you can switch to that user so su and the name of the user and that's done now it's time to configure the python virtual environment all and all so for that we will do we will do virtual env dot so it will start uh, uh, a virtual environment interpreter and you will create all the setup tools and uh, pipv etc then it's time to activate it so source bin activate all right now yeah uh, the python virtual environment is started here because we haven't given any name so the name will be of that user okay now it's time to clone the repository so again i will be navigating to the, uh, my bitbucket thing and in the source i have to just clone this particular thing uh, there down the project so in the cloning thing and yeah let's copy it and there you go and now enter the password yeah, because it is a private repo my so now it will start cloning and 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 as you will see that the whole uh, list structure will be changed here as you can see that there are uh, bin lib local sra uh, share and sras thing so in the if i navigate to sras file you can see all the manage.py file and everything uh, that was in the, within my repo so i can uh, start the server from here python manage.py if there is no error run server and yeah it is showing me that uh, manage.py is invalid syntax because we haven't installed django yet <laughs> so it's time to do that now and if i have requirement.py file here i can do them directly so yeah i have a lot of things here in, uh, in the requirement.py file so i will be installing it uh, one by one so that you can see but m most important thing is using alias python to use python 3.6 okay so alias python equals python 3 There might be some error with the um, thing and yeah it is using 3.6 by default so no issue because i have written the python equal python uh, 6 so i let me edit from here and yeah now uh, it's time to activate uh, something uh, including the django and all so pip3 install django and for that i have to install sudo apt install python3 pip so that i can use pip3 and now enter the password for the droplet yes, and in the user sorry now it's installing the python3 thing then we can use pip3 so that the dependency because uh, django 1.11 only works on 2.7 but django 2 will not work on 
uh, Python 2.7 this is important to work uh, with Django 2 you have to use Python 3.6 version all right and by default uh, it uh, the Ubuntu comes with Python 2.7 at this time in digital ocean so we are uh, installing Python 3 by sudo apt Python 3 pip all right now it's done now we can use our pip 3 command so now we are installing Django pip 3 install Django and it's collecting Django as you can see 2.1.1 uh, all right now some other package is needed for Django now it's time to install Django REST framework then we will install Django REST NOx because I'm using it uh, for react application to so Django REST NOx then I, I will install webpack loader also mm, for, for react to work and uh, Django server and webpack dev server running react needs that so pip3 install uh, you might uh, don't need these things okay it depends on your uh, project app uh, needs the installed app needs that you have written in your install app so go for them okay next thing that we will do is migrate and collect static so maybe some of other things that we have uh, installed are below one of the most important thing because if you are using images there so you have to install below and also Django course header I will be needing because I have to allow course request so pip3 install Django course headers all right so I think it might work now with python manage.py run server and yeah yes, you should use python 3 here if you, you want to use with for uh, Django 2 so it's again saying that manage it file not found so first navigate to the repo inside so list sras and now we can do this so it is saying did you install mysql client so again the because we are using mysql so we have to go pip3 install mysql client all right so it might show some error of a config file yeah and yeah hey has things oh sorry this is happening because of um, mysql config not found so we have to install it also so i have written here something for that so to install python config okay not here so let's search it python config and as you can see here we will be installing it just paste it down and it should work now if we install mysql client and now we go and yeah it's done now now if you, um, it should work at least if we run server uh, if all the other dependencies have been installed yeah it's working fine now the server is running fine and it's time to yeah you can you can also check uh, whether your thing is working on the port is not for that what you have to do is uh, python manage repair run server with uh, this and 8000 okay you have to use 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. this is important now you can go to your uh, ip address which is here 206 0.189.139.18 so 139.18 all right so uh, it is saying welcome to nginx and if i use 8000 so you can see here everything that you have in your 
uh, Django is working fine here and it is uh, again it is live uh, uh, about live on your IP address but what about it this okay we will resolve this thing okay and uh, this is just a test we won't be using run server to run our application we will be using a proper application server to securely server application okay now hit hit control C and uh, work for configuring Gunicorn and all all right so for that pip install Gunicorn then uh, one one thing that uh, is problem with it is uh, pip install Gunicorn uh, will install the Gunicorn according to uh, Django 2.7 but we will be using for Django 3 all right so uh, I'm sorry we have to uninstall it and don't do this mistake okay so pip uninstall Gunicorn all right yeah I want to remove it now uh, one more thing that we have to do is uh, I have to write pip3 install Gunicorn but I want to install it in my uh, uh, my uh, directory that where I want for that I have to write uh, a extra uh, come argument there all right and it will be like this so pip3 install Gunicorn install option equals to install a script and whatever my personal uh, I'm sorry present working directory is and slash bin so yeah as you can see here i will be doing uh, install script equals to whatever the personal working directory is and i have to remove this and slash bin okay now it will install it in that particular uh, directory this is important and this is very 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 common mistake all right now if you list the directory you will see okay we were in all oh, right this is a big problem i have to delete bin from here this is important because i was in srs so move back again install it and because back gently i have installed it in bin i will delete the bin and folder from there okay because i was needing it in user slash urban slash bin okay from here here is the uh, right location for it so now i will be creating a new file vim bin slash gunicorn start file okay so gunicorn underscore start this new file and this is a vim editor here so in the vim editor i have to write uh, some bash things so this is here and that i have to write i have copied it here and you can also write from what i'm doing here the very same things there are some problems with uh, yeah this is not the name so use i to go into the insert mode as you can see here now you are in insert mode because um, now you can write now you know, name of the project is srs and name of the user is r1 and the name of the project is again srs so i'm modifying it according to our need urban urban is right home urban run gunicorn everything correct now it is not urban train setting it is sras setting and it is from a tutorial on simple is better than complex you can check it out there all right so there might be some issue with the, this uh, django setting if uh, it work it's fine otherwise i will be changing there all right so now I hit escape now right colon and x to save the new file all right it's done all right now it's time to make a the make this file executable so chmod then u plus x to make this file uh, executable and the file is in bin and the name is kuniko start and yeah it's done now we have to make two directories one for logs and one for run so make the logs we will be using them okay now if we list we have bin and logs and run as well now it's time to make a new file in the logs which is gunicorn error okay so using touch we will make it in logs so in the logs file i will be creating gunicorn error dot log all right 
so it's done now now it's time to create a new sub supervisor configuration file so for that we will be doing sudo vim Uh, inside the etc folder then inside supervisor then conf dot d and name of your project which is sras uh, whatever then conf okay and it is saying sudo vim slash etc supervisor sras and yeah it's done now because of that space the problem was and now I have to copy this simple five to six lines all right here in the Vim editor and now go to the insert mode and change the name of the program which is sras here and change the directory accordingly also so urban is correct bin is correct urban true 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 everything is fine now you can hit escape and colon write it and then quit wq all right here you go now it's time uh, to uh, reread supervisor configuration files and make the new program executable so we will do it by sudo uh, supervisor cdl and reread And yeah, it's saying available now. It's time to again update it. So sudo supervisor CTL update. All right. And yeah, it's saying add it. Now it's time to check if it is running or not. So it might be not running if the uh, path is not correct there. Okay, that in the file we saved and it is saying it's running. Okay, so it's fine everything is fine running and you know if your path is not matching that we have saved in this file then you might have to use absolute uh, path tell me in the comments i will give that solution also it occurs many times okay so it's time to restart this thing okay so i will be saying restart instead of start uh, status stopped and then started to oh, okay so it's working very very fine now it's time to configure nginx and i will so sudo again go to vim now this is very important that uh, you write this file very safely because it might hurt other things okay so nginx slash sites available and name of your project which is sras all right so now you are having this file i have to copy paste this thing upstream app server to all the things okay so we are having two curly uh, close brackets here so go to the insert mode by pressing i and now here you go so first of all thing uh, we have to do it in our recording need so it is saying server unix home urban run everything is fine listen to the port 80 it's fine now it's time to change this uh, ip address as per our need so i will be uh, entering here the domain name okay for which i want to configure this file uh, this project so um, i have to check out the name of the domain so go to the digital ocean where i have configured the name of the domain and yeah this is the name of the domain and just copy paste it from the here to there so and come on you can uh, write without www if you don't want okay so this is important now entering semicolon is very important again so home urban logs and you know one major uh, problem with this file is if you are having a slight error then whole thing will break down and you will see bad get error as you might have seen various times when you are deploying the project okay so now again write and queue for exit so i think everything is fine here and yeah so here we go now it's time uh, to create a symbolic link to the site enabled directory so for that i will be saying sudo ln then go to 
the location where you want to do so it was in nginx etc nginx and sites available we have already done it so, and slash sras okay now it's time to create the link so again the directory where you want to do so ngi annex and then again slash sites enabled and then uh, the name of the project okay so make sure that you write it uh, very clearly then remove the ngonx default website because the uh, page you are seeing right now which uh, welcome to ngonx and all so that welcome page should be removed from there so i will be using rm command so sudo rm uh, etc slash ngonx and sites enabled and remove this the default thing okay so from the uh, folder site enabled we are removing it and that's done now it's time to restart the nginx so i will be doing sudo service nginx and restart all right so it is giving that job for nginx your service failed because the control process existed with the error code so the error code is uh, system at status and general service so may, um, there might be some issue with the configuration file that we have saved there so let's go for them so yeah you can use cyberduck uh, to look for the directory because we have uh, made a touch gunicon and file and uh, also the nginx error file will be created there so for now i am using this particular thing system status and general service so that i can figure out what the issue and it is saying that in uh, line 1 to 7 there is some issue with um, daemon is not act, uh, active all right so hit control c and we will go back uh, and test if our um, this nginx file configuration is correct or not so to check uh, if uh, to check if nginx is valid or not we will be using to test nginx con uh, configuration uh, we can uh, use some config test so hit nginx t t so it is saying that it is available in user has been nginx okay so go to there so slash usr slash has been slash nginx so, yeah so now it is saying that test failed unexpected colon in site enabled SRS 10 yeah so this is the problem that I was saying so unexpected colon uh, in line number 10 so go back to the file we have created there so I think uh, this was the file uh, for NGINX mm, yeah here so line number 10 yeah okay 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 so I am having two semicolons here by mistake all right so this was the problem so go to the insert mode and delete one semicolon and then hit escape colon wq all right so now again i start the nginx pseudo service nginx restart and yeah it's done now all right so this is the problem that i was saying uh, you might have seen at the time <laughs> all right so now for the final test now you can run your uh, ip address directly so uh, go to the droplets and copy IP address from there and paste it in and yeah it is saying that internal server error and we will be resolving it uh, in a while because uh, the internal server error mainly occurs if there is some problems with uh, the nginx not starting uh, properly and if the guni is not working properly all right so for that 
again we have to uh, uh, start the gunicorn service and test if it is working or not so go to some back previous commands and here i am having all the gunicorn things and it is saying srs started and again start the nginx all right now uh, either you have to reboot it or it might work so it's not working so again go to sudo reboot so it will stop the server and close the connection and then again uh, it will start the droplet all over again and then you will see that um, the things are working so in the next uh, part we will see how to install uh, sorry how to work with the uh, uh, s3 so i will be using digital spaces as we will be creating a space there so that we can serve our static files and uh, one more one one thing that was remaining was we haven't uh, made migrations and some other things okay so for that uh, again we are doing here so go to the root and yeah, I, I, uh, more better is just go with urban okay because it was our user so now enter the password that you have created for this user and now we are in urban uh, directory so go to srs and now if i run python and yeah it's time to activate also so before uh, going into hrs activate the virtual environment so uh, source bin slash activate and now it's activated now go to srs directory uh, cd srs then write python 3 if it is working fine or not let's check it out Man, uh, manage your py run server okay so it is working correctly and now it's time to make the migrations all right so make migrations now there might be no folders there uh, into the migration folder should be there into the our Django directory so let me check if they are there or not so uh, let's go to any let's say account and if I see here I am having migrations there okay so it's fine uh, you can check out the migrations you, you know if you are not having migrations folder it will give a major error okay even the admin migrations will not work so uh, you have to make sure that uh, you are having migration folder for every app and in in every app you are having init file like this so init.py and whatever the migrations you have initial migrations okay now it's time to go back okay so now it's time to run the migrations by using migrate command python manager migrate and because uh, I have added migrations in my git repository, so it's okay. Uh, it's working fine and yeah Now it's time to do collect static thing It might give error of that the uh, directory not found so we will create a directory there So yeah, it's saying that uh, no such file directory static uh, store So it is saying that it should be in urban then SRS then uh, In a static store, so we are in SRS. So we have to just make a new directory make the static store okay now again run the managed by collect static and yeah it's saying that 152 static file copied and now you are ready to go with the static files as well all right so it's enough for now if i uh, test it so it's again giving the 